Hey there everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Destiny. Uh, this is CCS Media Design, or as I'm known on Xbox Live, Windom X. Uh, now, this game's only been out for a couple days, but um, I'm going to admit I could not resist, and I did go ahead and go um, and leveled up myself quite a bit since I started that very first episode, so I'm ahead of the game, so I know some things that are coming, but I can assure you that it doesn't affect um, overall gameplay in the slightest, and actually, um, well, you know what, I'll explain that as we go along, because we're about to jump into the story. So, um, we're just going to, uh, get right back into it. As, uh, you can see, my, uh, newly souped-up Titan is dancing, um, with this dude over here, um, I think his name's, like, Afanti Arcs. And, yeah, pleasure, just, pleasure to be dancing with this guy, awesome, isn't it? But I'm unfortunately gonna have to cut this short. Because we have to go to orbit. So first, we're actually just going to wave goodbye to him. And now we'll go to orbit. High security package. Because it's time to jump into the story missions. So now we're in orbit. We're going to set our destination. To Earth, old Russia. Now the nice thing about this is that um, stories are only dictated by picking a location. So while they don't appear until after you complete them, um, going on ahead and then going back doesn't affect your ability to do a linear story path. So we're gonna start with this one, the first mission. make it hard just to add a little more interesting to it. So, you guys saw what happened in the very first episode when I had just been awoken, and now I'm a defender of the city. So now it's time to see what else my journey holds for me. There's so little left out here. We were lucky to even find this ship. A Guardian can't do much to protect the city with that one. But it needs a warp drive if we ever hope to fight beyond Earth. And that Cosmodrome is the only place I know where we might still find one. We survived the Fallen once. We can do it again. So we have to go back to where he found me and brought me back from the dead. Because we need to go back and find more parts for our ship. A Guardian ship was recently shot down here. If the Fallen haven't gotten to it, there might be parts we can salvage. Alright. Now, interesting to, to note, we've got some other players out here doing the same thing as us. So first, where's our waypoint? Straight ahead. See that marker? We need to make it to that point. So let's go. look at my radar in the upper left, you can see um, I've got an arrow telling me which direction to go. That thing is very reliable, so... Oh, hello. We got company. Losers. You're no match for me. Avionics are completely catatonic, but I can't call their last transmission. The other guardian with me is also doing the same thing. He needs a warp drive. They managed to restore an information hub here. Down in the tunnels below. We should check it out. All right, let's go for it. Let's see what's in store for us. Boom, headshot. Boom. Go 
downstairs. God, I love that dynamic lighting in this game, it's amazing. And it's nice because we've encountered another guardian who's going to help us out for a little while. Or maybe we're going to be the ones to help him out. The entire area. What we really need to find is a warp drive, so we can jump to any planet or moon. Good idea. Our only hope is where we found our ship. We have to go back. But I died there last time. I mean, I teabagged the guy in revenge when I came back to life, but I don't want to die. Nah, I guess there's nothing to worry about too much. If there's anyone there, I'll just tank him out. I'm a titan. That's what I do. Supercharged. Ready to do... A powerful attack. Oh, got company. Boom. Okay, come on, come on. Not that way. We want to go this way. Now, thank God for um, the Scanning waypoints for the there, because drive. it's really hard to see. Bad news. It's already in fallen hands. Yeah, we'll work with this guy. We can help him on his story as well. I hope you're ready for this. That's if he's allowed to join us. He may not be. Nope. We're on our own now. What hit me? Oh, jeez. Yeah, we got Big Daddy over there. I almost forgot about him. Taking a beating. We gotta take some cover. Take, that guy can take punishment. Do not challenge him head on. I don't care what level you are. You know what? Let's see how you like this. Fire! Boom! Not enough? I know to finish you off. I can attack from other sides. Nope, he just got a whole bunch of bad guys with him. Let's finish this buddy. Die! Snipe this dude. Where's he at? Oh, stop dodging. Alright, you know what? No, I can't snipe you because I suck as a sniper, but you know what I can do? I'm just gonna punch you in the face. That'll get the job done. Mission complete. You just killed an Archon, and we got a warp drive. 
This could cripple the Fallen. We need to go see the speaker. The speaker. I wonder who that could be. He sounds important. I just gotta wait for this clock uh, thing to clock out. Pick up if there's any goodies on the ground. You go for them. But that's it. Now check out our Titan there on the left. I'm pretty souped up. And I'm at level 13. Far beyond the level 2 I left the last one at. Continue. So yes. I've completed the Earth story already. But what I haven't done is I haven't gone beyond that. I held myself back just enough. But I was up on when this game came out. I was literally up the entire night, like a no, like a no, like an absolute no lifer. Could not resist. I had been waiting for this for so long. Now we're treated to a cutscene. There was a time when we were much more powerful. But that was long ago. Until it wakes and finds its voice, I am the one who speaks for the Traveler. You must have no end of questions, Guardian. In its dying breath, the Traveler created the ghosts to seek out those who can wield its light as a weapon. Guardians to protect us and do what the Traveler itself no longer can. What happened to it? I could tell you of the great battle centuries ago. How the Traveler was crippled. I could tell you of the power of the darkness, its ancient enemy. There are many tales told throughout the city to frighten children. Lately, those tales have stopped. Now, the children are frightened anyway. The darkness is coming back. We will not survive it this time. Its armies surround us. The Fallen are just the beginning. What can I do? You must push back the darkness. Guardians are fighting on Earth and beyond. Join them. Your ghost will guide you. I only hope he chose wisely. I did. I'm sure of it. We're in this together now. You heard him. It's me and the ghost. So that's one story down. Let's keep it going. Back to Earth. So that was the divide. Now we have to do the darkness within. And we're not doing this on easy. I did that for the first time because I wanted to figure out the gameplay, but now we're going hard for you guys. Not that it's that difficult to begin with at my level. I can assure you this will be a lot more interesting once we get into the next set of levels just because I'll have no idea what's going to happen. There are reports that the Fallen back at the Cosmodrome are keeping a pretty tight guard on the old Skywatch. Could be one of their leaders, or it could be something valuable. The speaker's asking Guardians to look into it. So 
so let's check this out. So the officials in this game are amazing. Okay, the Skywatch is just on the other side of the steps. And it's surrounded by Fallen. Well, I'm ready if you are. All right, let's go, guys. Straight ahead. Is this guy stuck in a fight? Doesn't look like it. He's looking. Uh, he's looking just like we are. So it's interesting to see what other guardians are doing. If I can help anyone out, I'd you know, love this to. This place must have been amazing before the collapse. Thousands of humans boarding the colony ships, off to build cities beyond. Up the hill, the building with the radar. That's the Skywatch. Nice. Check out those lighting effects. They're awesome. But they are all based on one thing. Hopefully we'll get this. Straight ahead into that building. See, these landscapes are amazing because everything takes place in one giant overworld. So, like, if anyone's, um, um, yeah, let's see, I'm trying to think. Yeah, if anyone's, um, familiar with Halo's matchmaking and, like, um, how, uh, they have for matchmaking in Halo and how, like, they have a forge world or maps where you, uh, can do forging on and then they build, like, miniature maps within those. Yeah, it's kind of like a concept like that. Except so much bigger. Oh. These places are massive. Definitely bigger than anything we've um, I've seen in any game so far. I have no idea about Borderlands though. We're in. Um, this was one of Skywatch's old array stations. Because I know they employ the a concept colonies. similar to this. But just not... Uh-oh. Respawning is restricted. What have we just gotten ourselves into? I have no okay. idea. Dead end. Fallen sealed this gate. I can get it open. Then let's do it. Open it up. We go, boys and girls. What is this? Lots of motion ahead. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, you and me both. I hate dark. I hate being in the dark. What the? Oh, holy hell. Oh jeez. Boom. I'm gonna fry those guys. This is creepy how they just come out of nowhere like that. Massive again. I got overwhelmed almost got overwhelmed by sheer numbers there, but it wasn't just for my overwhelming power. There's a wizard here. You have to kill it. A wizard? Cat lights. Special ammo's full. Let's use our sniper then. Boom. So yeah, if my target's standing perfectly still, I can snipe. Are you 
just keep coming. Just punch those guys right in the face. The what? wizard's here. The wizard right there, huh? And he's got back out, so let's kill his minions first. Gotra or spawn. And now yeah, this guy's got a shield. Take down that shield first before we can get to him. Oh hell, he just called in the cavalry. It's kinda like the flood. Jesus, no end to these guys. We gotta take him down. Boom. Alright, where are you, Mr. Wizard? I want you. There are a lot of guys back here. I don't know what's hitting me, so we're falling back. I think that's him. Got him. A couple of nice headshots. The Hive haven't been on Earth in centuries. The darkness could be a lot closer than we think. We should probably get moving. Yes. So now we have another batch of enemies. The Hive. The Fallen and the Hive. They have similar color schemes that can make it tricky to tell them apart. But they're very distinct in names and appearance. Nice. Oh, one thing about um, when you get rewards and parts, um, the your rewards and items you will find get better as you level up. So no matter where you go looking for items, um, even if you go to the easiest mission to go looking for items, you will find you will only find equipment that is on par with your current level. So it's not like I'll be finding level two stuff if I'm level. 13. I'm only going to find stuff of my level. So the equipment you find, the items you find, only get better and better as you get stronger. Enemies, on the other hand, they don't. So a level 2 enemy could be dropping a level 13 item for me. So let's take a look at some of these goodies. Got a brand new weapon here. An auto rifle. I do like my pulse rifle though, so I'm gonna stick with it. A new machine gun. That's nice, better than the one I had and uh in the one I had. Uh this is the machine gun I was using in uh that crucible video I posted um yesterday. So now I've got an even better one that's gonna be useful for matchmaking. What else do we have over here? Improved leg armor? So it requires level 12 for the one I've got. This one is level 13 and has four more defense, so we're going to equip it. Anything else? Hmm. Nope. I'm going to stick with what I've got. I like my helmet. It's a rare helmet. And plus my guy just looks so awesome. Blue and gold armor. I've got that nice sash down there. Awesome. So let's continue with the story. As we move on from the darkness within to the war mind.
Now everything you're seeing, no matter what level you are, it'll all look like this. Reporting that fallen are tearing into machines all over the Cosmodrome. I'm starting to think they aren't just looting the place. Whatever they're looking for, we should probably find it first. All right. If you want to get your sparrow, we can be in the Forgotten Shore in seconds. My sparrow, huh? Let's go. Whoa, we got baddies. Ow. No, we're just going to see right past you. And crash land. Fine. You want to fight? Go we'll fight. Now I gotta get my vehicle back. There we go. Woo. Jeez, just check out the detail. I mean, again, what what makes this game so cool is that you've got these massive, these massive areas. I mean, these worlds are huge, and Everything is so finely detailed. I mean, this is why it took so long for this game to come out. The sheer amount of detail that went into every little thing. And all the optical flare lighting effects. Yep. All all lighting effects in this game are purely lens flares, optical flares, whatever you want to call them. That uh, movie makers such as J.J. Abrams or Michael Bay are famous for, are notorious for. That's what all the lighting is from. And then the sheer amount of dynamic lighting. Real-time shadows. And things actually even move on day and night. Change in real time. We're approaching the shore. The Fallen are using some sort of signal amplifiers. Let's see what they're transmitting. Alright, let's do it. And we learned our lesson from last time. Let's kill these guys. The guys are level 7. These guys are getting stronger. Further into the wilderness you travel, the more powerful your enemies get. Bad guys up here. Yep, they're fighting, attacking this other fire team. Let's give him a hand. You get shocked. I got you back. And who's firing at me? Give me a second. Some kind of distorted signal. Not far. Let's check the other one. Alright. Let's check the other one. Let's see if we can't get can have a man here a little bit of a hand. He needs it. Nope. I think he's pretty good. That guardian knows what he's doing. Teleport on there. I forgot that they can do that. What's we got over here? The next thing to scan? The same transmission. Let's wave to them. They're both linked to something in Skywatch. Let's check it out. You want to dance? We can dance. Oh, come on, guys, get into it. Yeah. Oh, oh, I thought he had it for a second there. Yeah, there we go. There we go. 
Now we got a party. All right, let's get to it. On with the story. Just having a little fun there. So where we gotta go? Oh, I see bad guys. going. And these guys we will zoom past little bots. Skanks, I think they're called. So many lens flares. go. Alright, we're on our own in the darkness. See that haze. I'll take you head on him. I'm a titan. I don't have to worry about dodging. Watch out for those guys, we got invisible people here. And they do not appear on radar, so that's true stealth. Ah. Hold it, Captain. Seems to be a little boss here. Upgrade is unlocked. Nice. Check that out after the mission. And the captain has been sniped. You survived the snipe? You don't survive that. I'm sorry, just, uh, uh, the, the dynamic lighting in this game is absolutely amazing. The, fine, the, the amount of time they took to put the fine details on this. Oh, just die. Thought I headshotted you. Punch in the face. Work does wonders, uh, let me tell you. Fallen or tapped Especially into something coming from in the a back titan. Of the room. Well, let's find out what it is then. Boom. Yeah, when you get stuck reloading, and you're a titan, just punch people in the face. You can usually fight your- outfight most enemies except for the biggest of them. Even on a low level. It's a nice way to bail out. Alright, come on. What you got? Like little... Kind of like a guy looks like he's carrying like brute weapons from Halo. Like teleporting? Where'd you go? Headshot. All right, pick up some of these little things they leave on the ground. Uh, when you need ammo, always inspect dead bodies because um you'll see. Uh, maybe you've seen some of it while I've been playing, but uh, these bad guys, when they the die, uh, actually there's a, the machines, is that an example right there? Back. Nope, that's this just a light. It can be tricky telling some things apart because of all the lighting in this game. Resist the fall. Oh, jeez. Huge army. And the music kicks in, tells you something big's happening.
Yeah, I'm trying to protect you here, ghost. Through it all. Uh oh. Whoa. Look at that thing. Things just got a little chaotic here. Holy. And they take me the other side of the room. I gotta get to some cover. They're overwhelming me. Glowing spear things. Blank snipe and crush them. Run out of ammo here. You guys aren't dropping any. Let's try this. Didn't get much. Kept hitting an active firewall. Old Earth. Russian. The legends are true. A war mine did survive the collapse. Rasputin. An AI built to defend Earth. He faced the darkness and survived. And he's protecting something here in the Cosmodrome. We have to find a way to reach him. Let's find him. See all those dead bodies there? The game is excellent at remembering that. They stay there for quite a while. Let's check out our upgrades. So, this weapon has an upgrade. What do we got? Upgrade our damage. Nice. So now this weapon is upgraded from 111 to 119 attack power. Get another rifle there. That's nice. Yeah, I like these green ones because they're character specific. They're uncommon, so they're character specific to my class. And I can upgrade them, making them better than... Uh, other weapons like these. These, I believe, are general purpose, and any character class can use them. Looks like we got a new gauntlet here, but it's not quite as good as the one I'm wearing, so we're going to stick with that. But what about this? Chest armor, slightly better than the one I've got. Same kind, though, just higher stats. So actually, with that in mind, Scout Mail Type 2? No, oh, Firebreak Type 2, no. Oh wait, oh, Firebreak Type 2, yes. And Firebreak Type 2, so we don't need my old one, so we're gonna dismantle it. Get a couple of extra little bit of money. And I believe we can go on from here. Yes. Alright. Let's continue the story. With the last mission, the last array. 
Our last mission on Earth. Launch. There's reports a team of Guardians went dark near the old Skywatch. They were running a mission for dead orbit, had codes to a hidden array that could reconnect us to other colonies in the system. If we can find their ghosts, maybe we can open that array. Well, let's see what we can find. Headed back to old Russia. The cold, snowy wilderness. The ghosts were last heard from near the Skywatch. Let's head there and see if we can find them. All right, let's go for it. Hopefully we can pick up some new M. Maybe hopefully we can pick up some extra ammunition on the way because we ran low on the last one. Yeah, that's very something to uh, something important to keep in mind. Your ammunition does not necessarily increase back to full in between missions, or even if you go into matchmaking, you have to manage that yourself. And killing bad guys to pick up ammo is how you do it. Enemies right near here. Indeed, I do. Let's pound them. You can die too. That was nice and quick. That was somebody right in the sparrow. Those bad guys were chasing those guardians. Hopefully I took out a little bit of pressure on their backs. There's someone right next to me. Yes, there is. Hello, boys. You need little weaklings. No match for my titan power. You might be a little challenged, Captain. Nope. You fall all the same. However, you did just leave some ammunition for me. Alright, all right. well, unfortunately, the primary ammunition... Oh, I picked it up. Okay. That white clear... That little small white clear square that was down there on the ground, that is ammunition for your primary weapon. Now, this big purple thing? That's ammo for my heavy weapon. That's going to give me an extra rocket. So let's reload. Now my uh, sniper rifle here, which is my special weapon, um, those are little small green cubes that you see lying around. So three ammunition types. The white, the smaller white clear... The white clear cubes are for your primary weapon. Green cubes... Sorry, not that. Green cubes are for your special weapon. And purple cubes, the giant ones, are for your heavy weapon. And you can carry three weapons at once. Um, you switch between primary and special just by pressing Y, but you hold the button down, and then that's what brings up the heavy weapon. Um, now, I'm not too sure what it is on a PlayStation controller, but uh, probably tr um, probably triangle or something. But yeah, whatever, whatever we your weapon swap button is, hold it down, and that's what brings out your heavy weapon. Primary, special, and heavy. Those are your weapon types. We're heading back through that hive breeding ground. The vanguards say they're spilling onto the surface now, keeping the fallen busy. Do they not like each other? We are supercharged, by the way. Ready to do our powerful attack, should the need arise. All right, this is where we got ambushed last time we were down here. Let's see what if there's another trap waiting for us. Don't think so. Where 
are more bad guys. Acolytes. Looks like they're a little distracted. What are they fighting in there? Ah, some primary weapon ammo right there. It was a little tough to tell because of the lighting there, but there were there were some green cubes there, and I got more sniping ammo. Gregs, you're fallen. Fallen and Hive do not like each other. The difference... Again, color schemes are lo look similar, so that can be a little tricky to tell. Um, as you play, you'll get to figure out which are which, but... um. Hive kind of like have those um like kind of medieval names like acolyte. No, um, there's some called knights, the wizard. So they kind of got that like um me whole medieval th uh, theme going. While the fallen are these guys, the du the dudes we've been finding primarily on the surface, Vandels, Gregs. There's a captain here. He's gonna die. Yeah, apparently the two sides do not like each other, even though they're the all ghosts. minions of the darkness. They're in a clearing between buildings not far from here. This way. Skywatch. Old Russia on Earth. The ghosts are still here. The fallen have them. Well, we can't let that happen. Let's take those ghosts back. It's dead. Honest. Keep hunting. All right, we'll keep hunting. Hive. Fighting each other. Caught in the middle of a three way. So it seems like they hate me a little bit more than they hate each other. Alright, let's take some cover. Alright, where are you? Come on, come on. Dell dies. And let's see, where are you? Sniping ammo for you. Boom. Headshot. Nothing. Find another one. This one still holds the codes. Let's find the array. Alright, so those dead ghosts had some information for us. Dead ghost equal a dead guardian. <laughs> behind me. Yep. Found a pair of legs. Enemies around me. They're annoying me. Alright, now on with the objective. Up these stairs. Now, where's it telling me to go? Is that this way? Right, that's where I just came from. Not. Oh, wait. I think I know what you're trying to tell me. <laughs> All right, there we go. We have to go down into the dark. These old creepy buildings. 
wonder what these places were like before. The darkness is growing stronger. We have to finish this. The array control station is in the next sector. Cue the dramatic music. The darkness is strong. It's coming to consume us all. And it's so consuming that respawning is restricted. Rocket. And he gave me extra heavy weapon ammo too. Nice, that's gonna be very useful. Those are always good for emergency breakout situations where you just need to kill a bunch of things quick, having your heavy weapon. weapon ammo but I can't carry anymore. So why don't we see if we just can't put this to use then. Approaching the control station. This is it. <laughs> so use up a rocket and just take one back. That's what I like to do if I see if I see heavy if, um if I see heavy weapon ammo just always and I'm at full just always try to find an excuse to use one. Just kill some enemies real fast. Right here, now it's coming in abundance. And I think I just missed entirely there. I gotta work on my aim. No, 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 I don't want that. My sniper. Ah, he took cover. Bloody coward. Fight me out in the open. Die. Ammo, but I think I'm at full. <laughs> and I missed entirely that grenade. It's so much fun when they jump and then they jump right at you and you can just punch them in the face and they die. the controls. I'll see if these codes still work. All right. Hmm. Yeah, let's deploy our ghost. I was just thinking about something real fast. Okay, negotiating crypto systems. Shore resistance security lattice verified. It's working. Is it outside the array? It's opening.
amazing. Whoa. It's activating. Check that out. What the? Hive two ships. Cutting through. Um. Holy hell. They got dropships. And cue the dramatic music here. What is going on? Um, oh god, oh god. That's a swarm. They're firing. It's a swarm, people. Wizard. Dude, this music is awesome. Alright, come on. Who else is here? Your magic is no match for my firepower. Die. Bring it on. What you got for me? More little swarms. Acolytes. Everywhere. Alright, a little closer and take that. And I'll make this entire life. Galley. That hurt me. Die! This big ass knight. I got mine too. Die. I think we're clear. You need to see this. All right, we took them all out. What do you got for me, man? Condition complete. This array is controlled by the last war mind, Rasputin. It's connecting to defense constructs all across the system. There could be something out there to help us survive the darkness. Uh-huh. Well, that's all good and well. That was nice story time there. Let's see if we can pick up some extra ammo. Nope, looks like I'm at full. So this mission is over. Got me a new helmet as a reward for my mission. Killed 143 bad guys. Well, folks, that does it for the first set of storyline missions 
of Destiny. Goes up to the last array on Earth. And next is our journey to the moon. As far as storyline goes, no, still some stuff to do here. Such as a strike mission. And of course there's always patrolling, but I'll visit those in future videos. But thanks for watching guys. You have seen the first um, first batch of storylines of Destiny. Now it doesn't seem like much right now, but I'm hoping as we go along it's going to get a little more in depth. Game's only been out for two days, it's tough to make a judgment right now. But what I can say is that the gameplay of it, I absolutely love the concept. Um, the world is definitely big, immersive, and just amazing. They really took their time with this one, and it shows. Alrighty guys, so stay tuned for the next episode of Destiny coming soon.